Hello everyone and welcome to my online lesson on highest common factor and lowest common multiple. This video is going to cover how we do this for larger numbers such as in this example where I've got 80 and 112. If the numbers are much smaller it is usually easier just to list their factors and find the highest one they have in common for highest common factor. And for lowest common multiple, it's easier to list their times tables and see what is the first number that appears in both. But with bigger numbers such as these, we need a more efficient method. So this is the best way of doing it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to do their prime factor decompositions. This is what this looks like. I've covered this in another video, so if you're unsure where I've got these numbers from or how I've done this, then please watch that other video first. It doesn't matter if you'd have done it in a different way. Either way, you should have the answers that 80 is 2 to the power of 4 times 5 and 112 is 2 to the power of 4 times 7. So once I've got this prime factor decomposition, I'm going to write it out fully. So I'm not going to write 2 to the power of 4 times 5 for 80. I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And similarly for 112, I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. This will make my next job much easier and stop me from making silly mistakes. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a Venn diagram for these two numbers. So this is what my Venn diagram looks like. There we go, I've just drawn two circles and I've put 80 on one side and 112 on the other to remind me which is which. So I've got to now fill in numbers into here. So the first bit I'm going to do is I'm going to do this middle section here and in this bit I'm going to fill in the numbers that appear in both of these lists. So the first one I notice is a 2, there is a 2 in both. I'm going to cross this off as I go along. I'm just going to put 2 in there so that I don't make any mistakes. Again, there's another 2 in both. So I'm going to put another 2 in. Another 2 in both. And there we go, another one in there. And the final one, another 2 in both. So that's all they have in common. Now I'm down to numbers that they don't have in common. So if you look in the list for the 80, I have a number 5. I'm going to use a different colour here just to show you where I'm getting these numbers from. So I've got a number 5 in the 80 list. And I've got a number 7 in the 112 list. So I'm going to put my 7 there. So that's my Venn diagram complete. I've put the numbers in the correct sections. And now I can find my highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So the highest common factor, I'm just going to put HCF, it's going to be, it's this bit here that they both have in common. If you think what highest common factor means, it means all the factors, the two numbers, have in common with each other. It's the highest of these. So this is what they have in common. If I multiply these together, it will give me its highest common factor. So I'm going to do 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, this is the same as 4 times 4, so the answer is 16. That's highest common factor done. Now I need to find the lowest common multiple. Now the lowest common multiple, this is why I set it out like this in a Venn diagram, it's much easier to see. I'm going to do all of these numbers in my Venn diagram times together. This is not the same as doing all of this multiplied by all of this because I don't repeat this middle bit here I only include it once so I'm going to write out I'm going to do 5 multiplied by and then I already know that this middle section is 16 so all those 4 red 2's are 16 multiplied by that 7. This last little bit to figure out, so 5 times 16 is 80, 80 times 7 is 560. And that's my complete solution. 
Here's a question for you to try. It's find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 60 and 96. You'll need to do the prime factor decomposition for yourself first and then use that to draw a Venn diagram and find your solutions. The full work solution is on the next page, so pause the video now and then I'll show you the solution. Okay, here's the prime factor decomposition. So again, you might have done this a different way, but you should still have that 60 is two squared times three times five, and that 96 is two to the power of five times three. Then when you draw your Venn diagram, this is what it should look like. I've done mine in different colors, so you can see where I've got my numbers from, but you should have that the highest common factor is 12, and the lowest common multiple is 480. Thank you for watching my video.